Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Planescape Torment. In the last episode, we kind of ended up getting locked in the halls of the Silent King, and, uh, well, we can't leave. And, basically, I'm trying to get an audience with the guy, so that way I can murder the shit out of him for a bunch of cranium rats. And something you guys suggested is that, uh, I do a couple things for Stale Mary. So, hi. I have some questions. Let's see. Uh, why have I been made prisoner? Ask Cargrim. Tell me more about Cargrim. Oh, right, he's worried. Uh. Tell me of yourself. Just still marry. What do you do here? Guide other zombies, care for quiet ones. Quiet ones? True dead. Hmm. Let's see. You work for the end work of Silent King. What work? Let's see, rebuild that which has been broken. Care for the true dead. I mean, like apparently I'm supposed to get like some help from her or from Hargrim, I'm not sure. And uh, she just says Silent King. I don't know. Let's see. What are you doing here? No. Damn it. Um. Where am I, maybe? No. Never mind. Shit. Who inhabits this place? Zombies, skeletons, ghouls, rats. Tell me about ghouls. Hungry. Always hungry. Hmm. Zombies. You work for Silent King. Uh. Skeletons. Argrim, their leader, gives us word of the Silent King. Skeletons guide us in our work. Gone. Ghouls chase away. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So I go. He dustman. Okay. Uh, looks like that's all I can ask. So I guess maybe I go talk to Hargrim? I'm, I'm not sure. Cause like, y'all said something about getting on Stale Mary's good side, and I've basically done everything I can. So let's see if I can't learn more from Hargrim. Let's see. Uh, let me ask you someone in particular, maybe of Stale Mary? She is the most intelligent of what we call the Rotting Herd, those zombies which populate the dead nations. Unlike many of us, her heart did not depart at the moment of death. That is, and that much can be said. Tell me of the Rotting Herd. They serve the Silent King and the Dead Nations as laborers. They work beneath the guidance of Stale Mary, most intelligent and then the most intelligent and wisest among them. Do you know more about Stale Mary, or...? No. Okay. Let me ask you someone else. He's worried about Soego and a cast, so maybe if I ask him about them, I'll be able to, like, help him out? She is the matriarch of the ghoul pack, the end that has come to our halls. She is strong and extremely cunning. I do not trust the ghouls or their matriarch cast. They watch us with hungry eyes, and would damn would doubtless devour us and all if our numbers and the word of the silent king were not against were not, were not a shield against them. 
go on. Updated my journal. They are forever ravenous. Without holding, without holding them in check, they would run, they would run rampant in the buried village, and the warrens of the cranium rats, killing all, and then return to devour and all that is here. Hmm. Ask about someone else then. Soego. He tries to convince us to give up and to give up this pretense of life, as he calls it, and pass into the true death. He claims that it, that our passions, and it is our passions that anchor us to this life, and we must let go of them in our duty. He wants us to die. Updated my journal. So they go listen, and some listen to these words, but none have chosen to surrender themselves to his beliefs. Those that did would be forever silenced. Our numbers would dwindle. And all that we have here would be destroyed by what surrounds us. Suego may believe he is doing right, but is, in truth, causing great harm. Then why do you allow him to stay? We cannot force him to leave. He knows that we cannot harm him. The dead truce. No one dead may injure a dustman unless first attacked. Also, the Silent King wishes no slaughter in his, in his halls. Hmm... Let's see. Tell me about yourself. It indicates it staves and robes. I am called Hargrim. I am the high priest of the citizens here, and I spread the word of the Silent King to his followers. How did you come to be here? I passed away long ago and found that beyond death lies only oblivion. Fortunately, I was able to step back and at the moment to run from the brink. Step back? Yes, I awoke here. I wandered the catacombs for untold days before stumbling into the throne of my lord, the Silent King. He spoke to me, and from that fated meeting, the dead nations were born. Hmm. Maybe our journal has something to say about it now? Let's see. World's corpses. Scare the weakness of the Silent King for many as one. One's fear for Faraz. Crystal still wants Black Rose dead. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'll probably have to take care of that once we get back. Hmm. Ugh, I picked a bad day to record. I mean, friggin... My dad keeps shouting about something, but regardless, something just hit me. Something just hit- oh god, please don't tell me I'm lagging. Uh, stoner chambers. Something, something just hit me. Friggin' Stale Mary taught us a skill, yeah? Stories Bones Tell. Maybe we can use that to get some decent information out of her. Special abilities, stories, bones tell, and use it on Stale Mary. So let's see if that worked. Uh. Who inhabits this place? Uh. Yes, what can you tell me about it? God damn it. So story the bones tell on Stale Mary does absolutely fucking nothing. Uh shit. What the fuck? I feel like a light above her, but Ah, uh, god damn it. Can I use it again? Yes, I can. Uh, but I don't know wh who to use it on if it doesn't work for Stale Mary. Uh. 
oh shit, so I decided to like just wander around the catacombs just interacting and inter interacting with anything for a little bit and uh I found out I found out there's a new option that that just uh basically just like what can I do to convince you of uh letting me see the silent king. He considers you for a moment before speaking. Who to the dead nations that thou mean no harm, acts of good will. Perhaps then I shall take my pen petition to the silent king. Let's see. I could tell the dustman that Farad is selling them corpses he stole here from here. I'm certain they'd stop Farad. I'm sure thou can see the problems inherent in thy offer. We cannot allow you thee to leave simply in the hopes that thou would offer such a thing. Is there some task I can perform for you? Journal. Yes, perhaps. Occasionally, the ghouls will miss small packs of well-hidden cranium rats that have come to spy here. Should thou come across any, be sure to slay them. Okay, cool. I just gotta look for random cranium rats then. I can do that. I mean, I'm not sure if many as one would get pissed at me for that, but I mean, it's a means to an end, so. Maybe there is some in the throne room? I don't know. Done. No, oh, doesn't look like it. I still want to find out what's behind this door. But I don't think we can force it. Failed. Nope. Okay, let's see. Done. Let's see, let's see. I may just like jump cut to finding any cranium rats I find because this place is like All right. really confusing. I'm Maybe gone. there might be some in the chapel? I'm gone. All right. Let's see. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. All right. Did I look oh, 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 God. Oh, God, hi. No, you stop that. You stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh God. Oh, s oh mother of mercy. Kill him dead. Kill him dead. Oh. He said there were several packs of cranium rats, though. So, uh... Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Maybe we should go, like, see Soego real quick and just, like, rest up. Did I use any of my spells today? No. Let's just like go talk to Soego real quick and just rest up. Hey, buddy. We need to rest. Ah, uh, cranium rats are serious business. Okay, everybody's fine except Dakon, so, uh, let's just, like, give him a bandage or two. There we go. You should be fine. Let's see, no cranium rats over here, so... Hmm. If 
already looted those boxes for all they're worth. Done. Maybe our journal was updated? Let's see. Nope, still gotta seek out and kill Cranium Match for the detonations. I'm gone. So, basically, we're looking for, like, little corners that, like, Done. don't have any zombies in them, mayhap? I'm gone. That's the conclusion I'm drawing from this, anyway. We were already over here. Where else have we not looked? Done. I mean, the only other place I can think of... I'm gone. ...was, uh... ...that one place locked by a door, and... ...well, there's not a lot I can do about that. Maybe we just had to kill the one. Okay, let's see. Hi! We found the rats. Found and can and can I found and killed a group of cranium rats in the row of rubble of an old passageway. Updated my journal. It nods, obviously please. Thou have our thanks. May the, may the Silent King watch over thee. So can you speak to the Silent King for me now? He holds up a palm. No, by the power of the Silent King, thou shalt not leave this place. Okay, what else can I do to convince you? Hmm. The light of its eyes dimming as it thinks. Soego, rid us of that damnable dustman. I shall speak to the Silent King of thy freedom. However, I do not seek him to be assassinated. Merely give a reason to remove him from the dead nations. What troubles you so much about Soego? Alright, the whole true death thing. Let's see. Well, it's just like, the thing that baffles me about this part is that you fucking think that Soego being a dustman running around convincing your people to give in to the true death would be enough. So let's see. I had some questions. Uh, Margrim? A stubborn one, but admirable in his piety and devotion to duty. He is the strongest rival here, and he has kept the civilization together for many years. His passions stem, stem him from the piety and devotion to duty. Admiral qualities are misplaced. Akast. Akast is a brute. Only the Silent King keeps her in check, I fear. Should his presence be removed, the ghouls would run rampant through the catacombs. Okay, tell me about the Silent King. I have never seen the Silent King. I wish I could tell you something about him, but I have never seen him. Presumably, his throne room lies beyond the Crimson Doors, but I cannot gain entrance. Hargrim, the skeleton priest, will not let me. Maybe if we talk to him about Hargrim now, he'll have something... No, never mind. Tell me about Stale Mary. Stale Mary is a good-hearted soul, if slow. I cannot understand much of what she says, but she and the zombies are not prone to violence. Alright. What do you know of the civilization? They've been here many centuries, I think, taking care of those that have passed away in their halls. Such devotion to duty is no longer necessary. It's almost a crime. You just want to kill him. Sentience threatens the dustman. Oh. I mean, yeah, sounds like it. Let's see. That's all he knows. Maybe if we, like, hmm. Oh. Metal slab is apparently used as a bed. There looks to be a portion of the side that can be pried open. Pry open and look inside? You're not going to be able to pry into Suego's things while he's around. You need to find some way to distract or lure him away from the area if you want to get in there. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Shit. 
so... I wonder if we can just, like, have Mort chat him up. No? Hmm. Shit. Oh shit, I could've- I could've friggin- I should've cut in sooner, but I poked around the catacomb some more, and I found this skeleton! He has a difficult decision to make, and basically, he's not sure if he wants to continue his life here, or to pass into the true death. Hmm. Maybe time for you to release your hold on life? Hmm. Well, if there's anything I know about dustmen, it's that they're pretty evangelical about getting people to accept the true death. So maybe we can tell so we go about that? I also find a confused, a few, a confused skeleton who, uh couldn't find, and who couldn't, like, solve this riddle, and unfortunately we didn't know the answer to it, so. Hey, so there you go. Met a skeleton, one in the hallways here, that seems to be, seem odd to be on the brink of seeking the true death. Oh, I will go speak with him now. Okay. Bye. That's right. We'll leave. We'll leave, and just, just, just let me, let me help you. Oh, I still need to wait for him to, like, fully leave, I guess. Pry it open! Certain that Suego's not coming around, you pry open the small panel and peer inside. There seems to be some sort of book or journal there. Go out and read it! The book proves to be Suego's journal. It details his being attacked by a were-rat and his eventual regression into lycanthropy and his flight to the mor from the mortuary after unwittingly slaying and devouring a friend. Looking for a hiding place, he came upon the warrens of thought and agreed to, say and agreed to serve many as one, a hive mind of the cranium rats that had gathered there. He is now here in the, in the dead nations in order to spy on the undead for many as one. Who hopes one day to control this part of the catacombs? Updated my journal. Ooh, Hargrim's not gonna be happy to hear this. Let's see. Hey, buddy. I have some. I have something to tell you. Let's see. Uh. Did you know the Suego's a cranium rat spy? It draws close to you, smelling the dust and mud smelling of dust and moldering cloth. What is this thou speak of? What proof do you have that Suego runs with the room with the brain vermin? His proof in his quarters, his journal. Updated my journal. We shall see. I shall gather Suego and speak to him of the matter within his chambers. Should this be true, I shall owe thee thanks. Wow, that's a shit ton of EXP. So we go, what is this I hear? Oh god, this is gonna be like too fast for me to read. And not to mention, Soego's, uh. Soego's, uh. Borking out a little over there. Let's just. There we go. I thought it was a cutscene, so I couldn't friggin'. Uh, I thought it was a cutscene so I couldn't move the camera, but... Oh, boy. So I go, buddy. Sorry about all the jump cuts this episode, but basically the cutscene kind of hanged for a little bit after the dialogue ended. But, uh, long story short, Hargrim kind of killed Soego with a lightning bolt, or something, I'm not sure. Like, while I was trying to figure out how to get it to end, it just kind of, like, the camera just kind of shot up over here and it happened. So yeah, Soego's dead. And now we loot his remains. Oh god, we can take his head! Oh god. Uh... Don't know why I just did that. 
I mean, I assume if it's just like specifically Soego's skull, we may need it for something? I don't know. Where the f where's Hargren? No, seriously, where's Hargrim? Is he in the throne room now? Like, waiting for us since we've, like, proved our allegiance or some shit? Maybe? I don't know. Let's see... No, he's not in here. Uh, let's see... Oh wait, there he is. All right, all right. Hey, buddy. May I speak with the Silent King now? I need permission to leave. I shall carry thy request to the Silent King. Okay, Silent King has spoken. Thou art free to go. Thy and thy way shall no longer be barred. Updated my journal. Hmm. At the same time, I just. I still need to do the thing for Mini as one. I think, yeah. But I. I'd want, I want to speak with the Silent King. Okay, I, I just gave up and asked for help. Apparently, we need a charisma of 16 to pull this off. And, uh. Yeah, guess what we don't have? I have a charisma score of 14, so I think for the time being, what we should do is just like. I'm gone. Uh. Oh! Oh shit, I can open this now! What? Done. Oh shit! This just like become magically unlocked once we friggin' damned poor Soego. Oh! Oh, it's a way out, I think? I don't know, because the game just froze. You guys tell me. Okay, there we go. Uh... I don't know where we are. Is this like a private drinking place? For, for, for the for ghouls and ghosties of the dead nations? I don't know. I am going to look around here for that... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, what is that? I'm gonna help buy it. Uh, never mind. It's already dead. I have no idea what the hell that thing is. Where are we now that I think about it? The Drowned Nations? Oh. Friggin... Hold on. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what these things are. I'm kind of hesitant to fight them alone, but at the same time, oh. Oh. Mm. Done. Tell you what, I'll come back here in a bit. <laughs> I'm just, like, right. exploring everything first. Looks like it'll be much easier just like, yeah, with the ghouls being around. Okay, let's see. Done. Looks like there's nothing around here. I'm gone. Oh wait, we can loot it now. For some reason, it had drink on it. All right. Ooh, like. I guess they're- oh god! Oh god, I didn't do it. I'm taking their jink though, but oh god, I didn't do it. Something about a thing doing something to the minute burning? Oh god. All right. Oh, that's not good. Help. Time to see what we can do!
Okay, yeah, we're getting a little swarmed. Let's back up a little, see if we can't bottleneck them. Yeah, this one was dumb enough to wander from its friends. There we go. Oh god, I did not mean to friggin' get all of them at once. Oh god. Run out, run out, run out. Uh. Okay, good, good. We'll move this one away from its pack. And beat the shit out of it. This one's also lured away from its pack. Beat the shit out of that one. Good job, Mort. Leaving only these three. Which we should be able to handle this. Okay, yeah, we may need to use some of these. Poor Tacon and Nameless. There we go. There we go. I guess now we just keep on keeping on. Oh, it's one of those things. Oh, may as well get rid of it. It's a bit. Oh. Nope. Everybody out! <laughs> and just let them take care of it. idea. Take care of these guys while they're attacking. Okay, never mind. They... They... Yeah, they took care of that thing a lot faster than I thought, and than I thought they would have. Luckily, though, they seem to be weakened from the fight, so... Yay. There we go. Also, this thing is lootable. Tarnished silver bracelet, needle and thread, leave that skull be. Uh, here, Mort. I made you a friend. Also, hang on to this shiny for me. Also, I'm using this. So, wait, what's up through here? Is it not something I can reach? No, it doesn't look like it. What's over here? Oh, what the? As you open the gate, a cold wind rush rushes forth. You begin to shiver as you hear the sound of a voice whispering. Although you cannot make out what's saying, in a second, it is gone and all is silent. You realize that you have been here before. You have a strong feeling that your companions must not follow you in. Wait out here for me, guys, and try not to die. Okay, where the dick are we? It's a tomb. Okay. Done. I hope nothing's in here to murder the shit out of me. Because, uh... Yeah. Without my friend. Oh, hello, body. There's jink on it. And an antler axe. I think I'm gonna leave that alone because, uh, I probably should have left more right. stuff with Mort. I didn't. Because I'm. What the f. Oh god. Oh god, that's glitchy. At least. Yeah, at least I took, like, all my healing yeah. items in here when I fucking left. This isn't where I wanted to go. What the. The fuck? What's in here? What is this? Tomb key! Nice. Okay. Right. Maybe I can go in from. Don't let it end like this. What the fuck? Oh, feel all stiff. Sorry, nameless. I don't know what the hell that was. Maybe I can go right. in here now that I have the key? Ow. What am I doing here? Yeah, uh, I am so confused, and I don't know how to spot those traps. Okay, let's see here. What's over here, then? Doom key 2. I don't have... Oh, fuck. Um, what can I do without? 
I mean, I guess I could just, like, use this and hope that it helps me resist some of the stuff in here. Here we go. Second tomb key. Now, where the dick do I go now? Done. Ah, what the f- strain through someone's bowels okay so maybe it's because of this thing right here oh yep that would do it this isn't where I wanted to go ah, shit. okay so if I try to go in through there I will be teleported no matter what and if I stand on whatever the fuck this is I will also like get my shit pushed in so let's just avoid stepping right. on that what the fuck I didn't step on it though. Ugh, god damn it. I'm gone. Okay. I'm gone. Oh, okay, seriously, what the f Oh wait, I can go up through here? What the hell happened? Uh damn it. Done. Okay, maybe I go through here then. Stop that. Okay. Done. So I've unlocked the whole thing, so what the hell do I do? Let's inspect these keys, I guess. This key seems vaguely familiar somehow. As you hold it, you suddenly know its purpose. It's supposed to allow you to teleport to one of the inner chambers of the Weeping Stone Catacombs tomb. But only if you use it in the entrance corridor. Once inside the chamber, it's useless. Okay. So the entrance chamber. Over here, yeah? Done. Ugh. What the hell happened? What the Huh? Okay, so I have to go back to the Stop that! Okay. Uh I have to somehow get to the friggin' Done. front what of the, the hell happened? Am I at the front? I'm not at the front. Oh my god. This is... Are we in a teleporting maze? We, we probably are. It doesn't help that friggin... I keep getting attacked by shit that I can't see. I'm gone. See? Like that. What the fuck is that? I don't know how to prevent that. Do I just have to, like, let it kill me? Done. Uh... What the hell happened? Maybe if I use it here? No. No. Don't let it end like this. Sorry, Nameless. Feels like I've been through a shredder. Maybe it'll help let us now? No? Shoot. Maybe there are more keys I have to collect, or something? That's a thing, right? But at the same time, there's, like, stuff in here constantly trying to kill me. Oh, there's plenty of healing items. What's in here? What is I'm this? Gone. Something I can't use. Stop that! Stop that! Ugh! Okay, so... Mm. Done. Don't- Nope! Don't stand in the middle of that. That is a thing I have learned. Okay, let's see. Use one of these. Yeah, I just straight up can't use this yet. This isn't where I wanted to go. Yeah, I can see that nameless. I'm just- I'm- Oh! I'm gone. Oh, there's a thing right All here. Right. I'm just- I am just a daft, daft bitch. Okay, uh... Hmm. Uh, I mean, we don't need this mortuary key anymore, right? Let's see, I can't even use this knot charm, so let's just drop it on the ground for now, so that way we can take the tomb key. There we go. I'm gone. So let's see. Stop that. Okay. So. Do I just, like, try going in here now? What the hell happened? I... 
God, I'm so confused. Ugh, please don't butt clench everybody. I'm just like, I'm very confused and I don't know what to do because I have never played this game before. Oh, what the fuck's with those graphical glitches, too? Is that like a, a thing that's a... Will you stop that? Okay, so... All right. I have three of the keys. Where's King Key 3? It's a portal key. Okay, now I have to, like... What the hell happened? Oh, damn. Wait, what the... No, that's not what I wanted to... I'm gone. So... Mm. What the hell happened? I have to get back to the front somehow, Don't. but... That's like the this. only thing I can think of Feels doing. Like I've been through a shredder. Sorry, nameless. So, mm. if you could somehow get back to the entrance chamber, you might be able to use the key to jump somewhere else. Okay, but how do I do that? Maybe I can just like straight up try walking in now, please. Can I? Holy shit, I'm in! Uh, let's see. You strain to raise the sarcophagus lid, but your efforts are in vain. It appears to be locked firmly in place. What are these things around here? It is extremely important to record your journey so that you might learn from them. The greater need, however, is that the sources of information that you use to uncover them, this mystery need to be protected when they are found. If key figures, documents, or oracles are somehow removed, either by death or destruction, you and you, you and you will never know who or what you are or how you came to be this way. The craftsmanship is exquisite. The panels in the panel is in, in set into the wall with the precisions with the precision that only a master craftsman could achieve. Huh. Push. You'll click from the sarcophagus behind us. Maybe I have to, like, read all of these? Let's see. I have lost lifetimes because of my killer. I cannot deceive him, and so I must kill him. I tried to throw him off the scent. I left false bodies, tailored in such a way to placate, then to placate him. I roamed the most outer plains, hoping to use distance as a shield. I built this tomb filled with traps to try and kill the killer. I hid. All I bought was time. The, inta the attacks inevitably began and began again, with more fury than before. Deceptions are useless. Somehow, the killer always knows where I am and that I live, and no matter when we're in the on the plains I hide, he finds me eventually. Push. So they said, you have been divided. You are one of many men. You bear many names, and each has left their scars on their f on your flesh. Lost one, immortal one, incarnation, end, incarnation's end, man of a thousand deaths, the none the one doomed to life, restless one, one of many, one whom whole and one whom life holds prisoner, the bringer of shadows, the wounded one, misery bringer, Yemeth. I grow weary. Dahl referred to us as Restless One. What little life there is in the world is draining out this hole in my, in my body. The world can burn, the plains can burn. Just give me life. I will destroy life so badly, break it, smash it, and stain it in blood and feces. You cannot live you cannot live it either. Let all creation burn, for I cannot die. I think that's all of the No? We still can't access this yet.
so is this is this your tomb nameless? Okay, here we go. There's more. There's not. It's not just one. It's like two coupled together. I suspect that we will continue to die and be reborn until we finally get our life right. I do not know what we what we have to do to bring and to bring that about, though. And therein lies the frustration. Is it some sort of karmatic cycle? As I gather, some incarnations have committed terrible crimes, but there have also been a number of incarnations where we have labored to do nothing but good. Are these incarnations intended as punishment? I don't know. And the only real truth that I can offer is these carvings. I do not know. At what, at one point, and at what point does the I get separated from the we? At what point am I freed of the shackles of the actions of the other incarnations? At what point am I allowed to be me without the weight of these past lives? Oh my god, being immortal is suffering. There's nothing that can be done. Memories are gone, perhaps never to return. With every death, I lose a part of me. How can one be immortal and still die? He told me that my mind is weakening with every death. I asked him how this could be, but he did not answer. He was of no use. I butchered him so that no other incarnation would ever benefit from his uselessness. Fear names. Fear that if the names have power and identity. And others and others can use names as weapons. Names are a hook that can be used to track you across the plains. Rename, remain nameless, and you shall be safe. I am the nameless one. So, before we lost our memories, we built this place? The inscription looks like the directions then on your back and then that mort read to you at the, at the, at the mortuary. See, I know you feel like you've been drinking a few kegs of sticks wash, but you need to center yourself. Among your possessions is a journal that will shed some light on the dark of the matter. Farad can fill you in on the rest of the chant, if, if he's not in the dead book already. Do not lose the journal or we'll be up or we'll be up the sticks again. And whatever you do, do not tell anyone who you are or what happens to you, or they'll put you on a quick pilgrimage to the crematorium. Do what I tell you, read the journal, find your eye. To your surprise, there's one more line, one that Mort didn't read to you in the mortuary. Don't trust the skull. Oh no. But, Mort's been nothing but helpful to us. Let's see. You open the sarcophagus and only discover a single K lying within. There is no body or nothing of any worth. I couldn't carry any more, so I had to drop it. Ah, shit. Uh. Hmm. Oh. I don't really think we need this arm, so let's just leave it here in the tomb. Tomb key four. Okay, what do we do with this one then? It's portal key. Okay, so but what the dink do I do with it then? Do I just leave? I mean, presumably so? All right. I mean... I don't think there's any friggin' place we haven't been to already. Wait, what the? 
Oh, shit. Okay. What's in here? Hello. Axe of Torment. A bunch of charms. And a battle axe. Okay. Give me a minute. I don't really think we need these. So... Let's get this spell. And find out what it does. Axe of Torment. As if in the depths of Beator, yeah, I've been corrected on that, uh, the sword and then torment shall be brought upon your enemies, and with time, its strength will only grow. The spell summons a mystical giant battle axe. The axe strikes a specified individual target for 1 to 8 pun points of damage, and in addition, as a final blow, the axe will cause a magical effect to occur at random. So you suffer an additional 1 to 8 points of damage. Wow. This is a very good spell. Let's go ahead and copy that. What else is in here? A bloody teardrop. It's all a heart charm, but uh... Shit. Okay, hold on. Uh... I guess... I can... I, I can probably leave behind the junk. Probably. And before I fuck myself over with that, but... Anyway. Bloody teardrop. Hold on, what what is this? I can't use it. Identify. Whoa! Okay, let's see. Permanent plus one to constitution used only by lawful good characters. Fuck. Okay. This glistening red tear was once shed by the martyred harmonium officer Salen. Soleru Day, I think. He was put to death on the Harmonium's home of Plant and Plain of Ortho. Mistaken as a member of the hated Revolutionary League, Soleru Day's obedience and loyalty was such that he could not bring himself to challenge the allegations of his superiors. At the moment of his execution, three tears fell from his right eye and turned to stone as they fell upon the flagstones of the square. That's tragic. So... Nothing here but a portal, so... Oof. Hey kids, I'm back. Okay, so, uh... Mort? 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 Mort. Yeah, what's eating you, Chief? Uh... Can you... Read... To me, what's on what's tattooed on my back again? No, I think I want to hear it all this time. Go ahead, refresh my memory. It's not a dead book already. Keep going. Go on, Mart. What does it say after that? What are you talking about, Chief? There isn't any more. What about Don't Trust the Skull? Updated my journal. Oh, that bit at the end? Well, I figured it was a wash, so I didn't read that line out loud. Hmm. Do you think it refers to you, Mort? I doubt it. I mean, you can trust me, right, Chief? Are you Annette, are you lying to me? Or I need to know. No, come on, what's your problem, Chief? I haven't steered you the wrong way yet. Yet. I don't like the fact that you didn't read that line, and I'd like to know what else you've neglected to mention since we've been traveling together. What have you been hiding from me? Nothing. I told you everything. Well, almost everything, but nothing, you know, dangerous. If there's anything else, I suggest you tell me now, Mort. Please. I want to trust you. Chief, seriously, there's nothing else. I wouldn't hold out on you. I hope not. Let's go. Alright, Mort. I trust you. Now we just- oh god. Uh... 
I'm a bit worried about this, but fuck it. Oh, it looks like they don't do a terrible amount of damage. Uh, never mind. Dacon would beg to differ. Come on, get. Eh. Oh, Mort stayed behind to take care of the other one. Good job, buddy. Right. Let's see. Wait, what the? LeBron Sphere. Oh. Oh, holy shit. Mort. Mort. Do you still have room? Yes, you do. I need you to hold on to some shiny things for me. And, uh, Dacon, go ahead and use this heart charm. You, you probably need it. Oh, God. Uh. Uh, if, um. I guess Dakon hold on to these tomb keys? Wait, why did Morton Dakon's orders get mixed up? Oh boy, that's gonna get confusing. Either way... Wrong sphere. Oh, here it is. Just a simple bronze sphere about a foot across, but surprisingly light as if hollow inside. Though its basic appearance is normal enough, this sphere somehow manages to offend the rest of your senses. The texture of the sphere, just the feel of it, gives you the impression that it's an egg about to burst open. Just touching it makes your skin crawl, and to make it worse, the faint smell of rotten custard emanates from it and makes your eyes water. We can use it? Hold on, let me save real quick before we do this. Okay. Use. It's a simple bronze sphere about a foot across. Okay, examine it. Never mind, it just gives us the same thing that- Okay, so now that that's taken care of, uh, let's jump over to- back to the buried village, and I will see you guys there. Alright. Uh. Alright, you crotchety old bastard. Okay, let's see if I can remember the friggin' voice I did for this guy that nearly murdered my throat last time I did it. Ah, corpse. Farad turns as you approach, his crutch crack and clacking on the cobblestones of the court. He licks his lips and smiles expectantly. Have you brought me what I asked for? Yeah, here it is. Frog's eyes gleam as you hand him the bronze sphere. He touches it gingerly, almost reverently. You, he chuckles. Ah, oh, corpse, such a gamble you were. But it paid off handsome, but paid off handsomely you have. Frog studies his reflection on the sphere and tists. The year and the years have been cruel to me, I see. I did what you asked, Frog. Now I want some answers. Farad doesn't even look at you as you speak. His attention is swallowed by the sphere he holds. Yes, yes, ask your questions. Farad turns the sphere in his hands. Very important, your questions. What do you know about me? Why was I told to seek you out? Farad studies you with a critical eye. Stay your weapons for what I'm about to say, corpse, for it could tin for it could for it could be your ears will take offense. Farag smiles wickedly. My ears no longer care, but yours are still fresh for the burning, it seems. You have my word that I'll stay in my hand, but I need to know what you know. The truth Farad's tone softens. As if, as if cajoling. The truth was stretched a bit from my mind to my tongue when we first spoke, corpse. In all terrible honesty, I know little about you. He raises a withered finger. Yet, hear me out. Starting to regret taking that vow! You're a cutter who plays at being dead, as I see. Farad squints at you. Some time ago, you came to me like you are now. But then, but not, and but not, just strolled in into the ill wind court and asked if you, and as you said, you wanted an audience with me. An audience with you. 
I, an audience, throw out chuckles like whispering sand. Like I was royalty, he seems amused, but there's an edge in his voice. You knew the right things to say, you did. Oh, yes. You spoke the chant like a go- and like a governor, born and true. Then I listened. What did he- I- want from you? Rod gives a mock bow, his crutch creaking as his- and then as he leans against it. Oh, Farad, great collector king, you says. I have come before you to request a boon. A boon, I says. What can I offer a man of such an obvious strength? Go on. Farad wags his crooked finger, and you ask for a strange thing, he says. Lord Farad, I ask for courtesy. Your collectors roam throughout the hive. If they should find my body, I want it kept safe. That is all I ask. Farad shrugs. A simple boon. I see. That's all you know? Before you can... Before you can speak, you suddenly feel a prickling in your skull as Farad speaks the word, boon, and the smell of blood and fear rushes through your nostrils. Farad is hiding something. Something that happened in the past, involving you, and it scares him. The boon he granted you was no simple matter. So you granted my boon just like that. There's nothing to be gained from it for you. Why did you even agree to do it? Farad falls silent for a moment. A dead man can keep no promises, and the promises to a dead man are easy and are easy enough to make corpse. You're a merchant, Farad, not a Samaritan. There must have been another reason. Aye. Farad's face suddenly peels back in fury, his skin flushing red. After you'd strung up a score of my blood in the hive walls to die, I had enough reason to promise you the plains themselves. And then your men and your butchering self comes into my home, my kip, to demand a boon of me. Farad calms himself, his face still flushed. I... I agreed. So, the nameless one killed Farad's family? I am sorry about your loss, Farad. For what that's worth. Farad tisks. No matter. The body served me well enough. The dusties pave and pay the same for fresh debtors as for old. Was that the only reason you agreed to my request? You knew things about me. Things only I knew. You knew I was greedy for something beneath Sybil, and you put a name and picture to it. The Bronze Sphere. And in the Bronze Sphere, you said. I didn't think you would fetch it for me, he chuckles. Yet did you, I. The planes turn in strange ways. And that's all you know. All I know? Nay. But it's all I know about you, corpse. Why did you take off my body after I died? I want my journal back. I? Farad licks his lips. Why, I took nothing, corpse. His face spins, splits in a grin. Then, I wasn't the one who found your body. Who did? Farad's smile widens, pulling the pasty folds of flesh back from his face like a curtain. My daughter. The rose of my eye, the sweetest of my family, and the sharpest wit of them all. He licks his dry lips and sighs in a mock sadness. Such a cruel tongue on her. Your daughter? Who? Updated my journal. My darling girl, Anna. Anna. Like, the, the rude-ass tiefling we met in Sigil. That's your daughter. Alright. <laughs> she found you, dead as a debtor can be, in a place where most collectors wouldn't go in for a mountain of coppers. Could be she plucked something off you, could it be not? He leans in, shaking his head. You'll have to ask her, for it's not in her dad's place to say. <sighs> Don't lie to me, Farad. You're a merchant, and you always get a cut from your workers. What did Anna give you from my body? Ah, yes, my tribute. Farad folds his withered hands over his crutch almost protectively. 
There's no telling what was from you or not, corpse. Most likely there was nothing. Uh, let's see. Fraud, my patience is at an end. Is at an end. If you don't hand over what was stolen from me, I will see to it that the dustmen know where to find you. Fraud is silent for a moment. He taps his fingers against his crutch slowly. Well, where is the decency of man gone? Oh, says you of all people. Fraud grumbles, shaking his head. The courtesy I am doing for you, corpse. Such a courtesy. For not parting with anything. It'd be the dead book for me if anyone heard. Wait here. You move not a yard, and I shall turn. I wonder where he's going. Updated my journal. After a long, after a long while, Farad returns, his crutch clacking against the flagstones. In his hands, he holds a number of items which he passes off to you. You will be silent on this and accept the blessing that I and that I even remembered. Do you want coppers, scrap of papers, and a ring? Very well. Who was it who found me again? Right, Anna. Where's Anna? Farad shrugs. She's hiding in the shadows here. I expect listening, no, listening to us trade the chant. I called for her after you went below, and to ask her if you were really in the dead book when she found you or not. She he chuckles and dryly and takes a deep breath and calls out to the darkness. Anna! Stop mithering in the shadows and come out and greet our guest. She's here? You know, I feel stronger. The man I have become stronger. Yep, there she is. And we all leveled up off that. Hi. Oh, what? No. You turned to see a striking red-haired girl dressed in leather armor. You didn't even hear her enter the chamber. Her right arm is covered in a series of interlocking plates that look as if they were taken from the skin of some creature. Now Anna has a horned shoulder protecting her left arm. Oddly enough, she has a tail, and it's flickering back and forth as you watch. You're Anna. You're Anna. I met you inside the. I met you in the hive outside the mortuary. Correct. The girl ignores you and turns to Farad. What's this about then? I'm not playing the leash pull with this scarred dog, so I'm not. Get one of your gu get one of your other gullies to do it. Anna, the rose of my eye, have I not taught you to respect the dead? A thin smile worms across Farad's face and makes it a slight hand makes a slight bow towards you. This resourceful corpse needs to know where you found him. Eh, what are you on about? She squints at you. He's not a debtor. Ugh, that's more British than Scottish. I'm sorry. I just, I'm just forewarning. I'm going to butcher Anna's accent a lot. Ah oh, yes, my mistake. Farad nods, and then his voice drops dangerously. Yet, yeah, my darling Anna, that still makes it your mistake. For this one, not for this one, only had one foot in the dead book when you brought him to me. He taps his crutch against the flagstone to the light tap. He woke up, saw me out. Most embarrassing. So? Anna glances at you, then shrugs. You shouldn't have been playing deader in the hive than what I'm about. Or he'll wake up in the Dusty's arms, he will. Maybe you could have checked me to see if I was alive before dumping me off here. Oh, hi. Maybe you should have been more careful, and maybe you wouldn't have been lying face down in a stone still on the alley cobbles like a deader, eh? Jeez, the mouth on this one. Ugh, I'm not gonna be rude to her. Where did you find my body? Show him where you found his body, Anna. Farad, and Farad taps his crutch against him and again, again for emphasis. Take him to the haunted alley. Farad studies Anna for a moment, then grins and turns to you. If you happen to lose my darling Anna on the way to the alley corpse, you come back and see Farad. I'll guide you. Updated my journal. <sighs> Anna sneers at Farad and throws a glance at you. Come on then, and keep your eye and keep your sips quick, Jig. I've got, I ain't got little time to waste on the likes of you. <sighs> Alright, let's head out.
Anna points at the door in front of you. Through there is where we want to be. Alright, oh! Oh, she's part of my party now! Also, scrap of paper that was given to me. Rag a note from Farad. Let's see. It's a tattered note you receive from Farad. It reads as follows. Beware shadows. Beware places where night lives. They wait. There is, and there is no natural darkness. Only shadows. Anyway, let's learn some more about Anna. She's a fighter and a thief. Okay. Uh, ooh, she has a high deck score. Damn. She is chaotic neutral. Okay. And what weapons does she fight with? Anna's punch daggers. Okay. All right. Are you to say a few words to me, feeling? Oh, I could. Hunt me that is. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, these. Oh, it's locked. What you first took to be a door in the archway is actually a painting. The artist has made use of the shadows of, overhang of the overhanging arc to and, uh, bring and, and some subtle and texturing effects to give it the illusion of substance. Are you sure this is the door, Anna? Actually, no, wait. Examine it. Other than the skill of the artist, there is nothing remarkable about the, paint about the painting. The door has been painting on rough stone. You can feel the stone and mortar beneath the painted wooden texture. Sure? Aye! It's been smeared with barmy pens from starved dogs, it has. It's a real door until you look at it, and then it turns into a painting. How did they do that? Anna shrugs. There's stranger things in the plains. She suddenly frowns. You might as well ask how you got yourself out of the dead book after I was sure you were dead. So this door, I just don't look at it, and then open it? Anna glances at the door, then nods. That's the dark of it, if the chant be true. Alright, I'll do what you say, you just... <laughs> Hold on! Anna stops you before you reach the door. This is the only path, and this is the only path I know to reach the place, and to re reach the place I found your corpse. And, but it's not the safest road, I... Ye and yet, and you sure you're ready. I'm not here to play you minded, no matter what, no matter what old Starcrunch says. Let's see. What's beyond this door that's so dangerous? Chaosman. Anna whispers, bomb me as they come, barking wild into the day, into the day and night, ready to either paint you with the colors in, or in, paint you with colors, or crack your brain box with a chamber pot. Dangerous bloods they are. They're dangerous, and how did you get through? I crept nice and quiet, like. Can't paint, can't paint or kill you when they don't see ya. Yeah, I suppose that's true. She looks at you up and down with a frown. Thought I could pull that twice with you around. You look right clumsy, you do. Uh, alright. You close your eyes and reach for the door with an and, and fumble around. To your surprise, you find the handle. A slight tug, the door opens, and a narrow passage leads to the building, and within, you can hear a distant howling. And we will go inside next time on Let's Play Planescape Torment. I will see you guys then, and take care.